Hello, let's solve another lead code problem. Uh, let's read it first. There are n students in the class numbered from 0 to n minus 1. The teacher will give each student a problem starting with the student number 0. So the teacher will start from the beginning, then the student number 1 and so on until the teacher reaches the student number n minus 1. After that, the teacher, teacher will restart the process, starting with the student number 0 again. Interesting. You are given a 0 indexed integer array called chalk and an integer k. There are initially k pieces of chalk. Then the student number i is given a problem to solve. When a student number i is given a problem to solve, they will use chalk i pieces of chalk to solve that problem. However, to solve that problem. However, if the current number of chalk pieces is strictly less than chalk i, then the student number i will be asked to replace the chalk. Return the index of the student that will replace the chalk pieces. Input. This is student number 0, 1, 2, and they have 20 pieces of chalk. And what happens is, is student number 0 uses 5 pieces, then 1 piece, then 5 pieces, and k is, is uh, being reduced, the number of chokes is being reduced by these numbers and because it's enough to go more than one cycle we see that it, not end, it doesn't not end on the third student which has index of two uh, and, and it's, it goes for the next, for the second cycle student zero does not have enough chokes so they will have to replace it, okay it seemed to be clear. Let's let's see what can we do here. So, <clears throat> uh, okay. Every time we need to we need to go over uh, over students. We need to go over students and. Reduce the value of k. k is equal to k minus chalk i. But then, so obviously, we need something like this. First, it's going to be 5, then 1, then 5 again. But with this approach, we, we see the first problem instantly because this will loop over all the students just once and in fact we can't manipulate the the index of the four array so maybe we need to choose a wild a four cycle sorry we need to choose wild cycle and while let's let's say let's say it has to be true from the beginning and then we will think what what the condition of continuing the cycle should be in in reality. Let's keep it true for now. So what's going to happen here is we need index. Maybe maybe let's let's do this. Index is equal to zero initially, and then and then uh, k is equal to k minus chalk index uh, and index is equal to equal to index plus one we need to check if index is index is equal to len actually let's let's do this Len, len chalk if it's it's equal to because 
because we need we need to call len minus one which starts with zero if len is equal to if index is equal to len we need to reset it index should be equal to zero we do we are doing this to make sure that uh, it will keep running over the students until we have some choke uh, but it may take too much time. In fact, maybe this is not a good idea. But it is still a straight, straightforward idea. So let's let's try this first. I have something on my mind, but let's let's keep focus on on doing this for now. So this is for resetting. But before resetting, we need to figure out what should the exit logic be. The, I mean, when we should break the loop and return some value. So return value, air wall is equal to, let's say, minus one, because we, we don't know for sure. Obviously, it's, not, it's never going to be the case, but let's return that, return, return, return value. And let's think now. So when should we when should we break the loop if if it, it's it was saying the condition really clearly when it was somewhere here here the current number of choke pieces is strictly less than choke okay here is it mm. to solve they will use choke even and solve the problem however if the current number of choke so if if k uh, current number of choke pieces is strictly less than choke index choke index then return index then air wall is equal to index break and obviously we, we do not have anything after the while loop so it will break the return value and it, it's going to be the value of the index that, that meets this condition. Let's let's try to run it for the first time. Wrong answer, which is fine. They expect output to be zero, but we are returning the wrong output. So they expect what our test case. So they expect it, it to be the student number index zero, the student number one, in fact, but we are returning this. So we have some logical problem here. We need to figure that out. So let's go over this again to recap a little bit. So we go, okay, we go, we start with this. Actually, actually, maybe, without thinking much maybe we shouldn't start with this maybe we should start with checking if we have enough chalk we will think a little bit later but let's let's check without thinking first uh, expected one output is zero this is another test case so the, the, it accepted this test case in fact and failed on another test case i see no significant difference between these two test cases so it seemed to be strange there's there is nothing really special uh, in both cases existed number of chokes is not enough nothing fancy so it's strange maybe we have a terrible logical problem here so length is equal to this as we know that as we know that we are no but as we move to the next index if index we move to the next index and we check and we check that that's the last index should we break in that case mm, i'm not sure if we should break in that case let's let's think about it so 
how it starts it starts it starts with choosing a student and reducing the 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 number of strokes from existing value of k actually we can't do that because for example yeah for example if the k is less than 5 then we need to re return then we need to return so return should should appear at first so we need to check if k is less than chalk index and and return the index so it, it seemed to be clear for now however if the chalk is enough if the choke is enough, we need to take the needed amount of choke, which is also correct. We need to take the needed amount of choke, which is also correct, and check if if we are at the edge of the loop. Sorry. Uh, Check if we are at the edge of the loop to, to figure out if we need to if we need to reset the index or not. And if not, only then we need to increase the only then we need to increase the in, uh, index, right? Right, so we, and this is another problem, so it's, it has to be something like else index is equal to index plus one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we solved the problem, this is a success, however, however, I see I see that we are doing this in a terribly suboptimal way because we can we can run over this this uh, array once and figure out how much choke is needed for a single pass. So in this case we need 11 pieces of chokes and then we have the number of chokes 22. So it's obvious that we we need two full passes over all the students and that number is easy to calculate this way so we first we need to calculate the sum uh, sum for for a single pass right the sum of the chalk list elements so it's going to be sum ch for example and it's going to be sum of Chalk, sum of chalk. So we have this, and and uh, and let me think for for a second. And uh, and k is equal to. So we want to reduce the number of chokes so that we simulate the last run when somewhere the pieces of choke ends on some student because that's the ultimate answer all we are doing is is we are simulating that over and over again until we get that last uh, last loop on which we will have missing pieces of choke so k should be equal to k divided by some some ch and we need just a reminder of that if if i'm not wrong so let's run and see if it works yeah it works so we what we did is we reduced the k drastically for example in this case we are going to we start we are entering the while loop when the value of k is k divided by 11 uh, k divided by 11 which is 2 and the reminder is 0 so 
zero is as we need to return index zero, zero is less than less than five, we immediately break and return. So this is a little bit very corner case. We we return immediately, we break the loop and return immediately. So we don't even run inside the while loop. Let's submit and see how does it work. Cool, we have uh, the correct solution. Let's, let's think for a second. I don't like being on the edge, although it beats the runtime, beats the it's 84% of the solutions, which is uh, really cool. Uh, but, but let's think if we can improve this. What I'm thinking is binary search, in fact. In fact, when we run, when we calculate the sum, and if we could know the the... Actually, when we loop over the list, the answer is already there. The answer is already there, and I wonder if we can use that. Because we run the we run over the list to calculate the sum. Yeah, we run over the list. So this is a loop, it's a hidden loop. We, just, we don't see it, but it's there. So it's on plus this loop. The complexity is on plus that loop. And yeah, right. This is this is a valid idea I have. So we assumed mistakenly, in fact, we assumed that. Where is our description? We assume that k is always going to be greater than the sum of the list elements, but it's not always the case. So in cases when k is actually less than the sum and it, it's going to end on the first loop, we actually shouldn't, we actually, we still can end the loop, but instead of we, we can we still can enter the loop, which is what we are doing, and it's not going to cause any problem. But I wonder if we can avoid doing that. So we need to change this, replace this with with a loop, and and calculate the sum explicitly. Yeah, let's 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 start writing writing it. Let's comment this out for a second. Or, yeah, sum c h is equal to zero, as we are we are going to use a loop to calculate the sum. So for student student intro, uh, sum is equal sum c h is equal to sum sum Sorry, some ch plus talk i. Yeah. So some ch is equal to some ch plus chalk i. Let's let's take an example. So suppose we have suppose we have just seven pieces of chalk. So it's going to be five plus six, which is still less than seven. And if it's not, if sum ch is not less than, is greater or equal to, we will think about equal, is greater than equal to k, that means we already need more chalk than we have. we need more choke than we have so if some uh, if some ch is then we can return we can yeah we need index and this is this is not going to work so we are forced for 
in for index again it's okay to do this in length um ch is equal to Some sage is equal to it's going to be index. If some ch is greater than k, we need to return index. Return index. Yeah. I guess this will work. Okay. If some CH is length, sorry, range, range length, I guess this will work. We will just loop once. We will calculate the sum, some CH. If it doesn't break uh, after the first pass, it will just have the value of the sum ch and everything will be as in, in the previous example. Otherwise, if we have, if we'll have the case I just described, it's going to end within this loop. It's going to return index. Let's run this. Nope, we broke, we broke it. So lang yeah range mm, yeah this is this is because we used we reduced the length by one we, which which is happening here automatically let's see what can we do here if if index is equal to uh, okay let's do this if so it, it will work for this case scenario and, and if index is equal to lang minus one let's check without thinking nope if index is equal to lang minus one index is is to be set to zero let's yeah let's let's not overthink it let's try simple stuff first then then chop so we need this let's let's see if i'm right no i'm not so uh, it's okay to leave it for now so what's going on we need we need we have it the, the value is equal to zero which is cool and then we check if the sum so this is the the number of the this is the number of the chokes we need if sum is more than choke we have then we need to return index so why is this wrong and and who returned so it's it's two right let's say we know that we know that the index of this one is two uh, it's going to be five and then we are going to check case 22 is going to be four then it moves down it's going to be six six is not greater than k it's, it's it will move down and when it moves down nothing special is happening we, okay and then it's it's when it's 11 it's it's again less than k it moves down and we will we need to have we need to make sure that actually after this loop print we have the, the value of some ch is, is uh, 11 for this case so that we don't break the rest of the solution it, it is indeed 
11. So this is strange. We are not touching anything else. So it's 11. Uh, 22 divided by 11 should be 0. Uh, k is less than k, 0 is less than 5. Then it should return. Ah, oh, I see. We are, yeah. This is stupid. We use the same index. So, um, we should, so this should go here. Sorry. This should go. This should go here. We need to reset the value of index, and we are doing this. Uh, yeah, it has to be the reason. Yeah, that's the reason because when the loop ends, the the index, the variable called index, is still there, and we were continuing continuing increasing or whatever we do actually we do increase here so we're, we were it has to start with zero but it was starting with the value of which which was assigned to index after the end of this first loop so this solves the problem uh, the only thing i don't like is leaving leaving this here so I want I don't want length to be calculated every time. So I still want to have length here. It this will not work. Uh, yeah, this will not work, and hopefully this will work. Yeah, cool. I'm happy with this solution. Let's submit it. To check if it works on the on all the test cases it does but it works worse now i believe because of the test cases sorry let's let's submit one more time to check yeah it's it's lead code i'm saying this every time but it's it's indeed lead code we didn't change anything now suddenly it beats 78 percent i believe this is a good solution we aren't losing anything we didn't add a new uh, variable we will use index anyways and in case if k is is less than the sum of the elements in chalk we will not continue we will return right away without entering this loop and doing this uh, modulus operations, if I remember the name right. So this is it. Please add comments if you have some suggestions for improvement or maybe for simplification of the code. Uh, feel free to, to like and su subscribe. We'll see you on the next problem.